Good morning everyone. I have just been out on a walk and gotten some breakfast. I was actually out for like an hour and now I'm gonna go home and make a smoothie. Mm. Alright, so I am back home and now let's make the smoothie. I'm putting in some oat milk just for the base and then some spinach. Some soy gourd from Plenty with vanilla taste. Taste of a vanilla, which is the best in the entire world, I think. I love it so much. Okay, like that maybe. Then I have some blueberries as well. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but I actually have some pomegranate seeds and juice. And maybe that would be nice. As well, I don't know. A few of them. And then lastly, a banana. Is anyone else of you guys thinking these things on the banana is so gross? I think so. I can't eat them. I can't. And I'm not a picky eater, I promise. Alright, so today's plans is, um, I don't think I said, but I'm actually uh, feeling a bit sick. I'm gonna just uh, stay at home and chill, pretty much. But today's plans is at least to fix these roots. Ew! <laughs> to fix that, I actually bought hair bleach yesterday. But I'm gonna try a new method, because I saw and... Uh, I saw on YouTube and a lot of you guys have requested me to try or told me to try because you guys say it's better to try and use coconut oil in your hair before you bleach it. So as I am only going to bleach my roots, I thought that I would put this organic virgin coconut oil in my roots and then apply the bleach. So let's do that. <laughs> I just got mail, yay, one eBay package and two that I can pick up, yay, um, one from Japan it says, what the hell, <laughs> okay so I right now have the coconut oil in my roots where I will have the bleach and in my ends, I have some of the Olaplex. I'm just gonna bleach the roots uh, and not where I have the Olaplex. This is just for like the treatment, hydration. Okay, so I got one of these. What can it be? Oh, I think I know what it is. I think it's uh, plugs for my ears. I'm watching this uh, hairdresser reacting to stuff on YouTube my dream that he would react to my stupid hair <laughs> dyeing videos. Ooh. What's this? I really hope I got the right size. I never remember what kind of sizes my ears are. It is the right size, right? Yeah. It's the same size. Yes. Uh, these are my... Um, the ones that I have right now, and I have one. <laughs> if you think this is gross, I'm sorry, but it's just earrings, okay? So right now I have one black and one silver because one of my silver ones is missing and one of my <laughs> black ones is missing. Um, and also the uh, black one that I have, it is. I think it's made for like stretching your ears and not to wear as jewelry. So I have. Uh, you can uh, remove this part, which I don't like. I think that it's very unhygienic. It like gets like gross in there and like dirt and stuff. So I got two totally black, normal black ones and they don't have any screw thingies. So yay. But the fun thing, I don't know why I got two different sizes. What is this? What? These are completely different. Why did I... Wait, let's see. What, what did I even buy? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so I got these super cute uh, heart-shaped 
Look how cute they are, but this cannot be the same size as this. They're way too big. And the white ones that I got, they are so small. Is this the same size maybe? Yeah, it could be. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay, so I got, let's see. So here is what I got. These are the black ones in 16 millimeters. And then the white ones that I have in right now in 16 millimeters. And the black one, 16 millimeters. But I think the fuck not. <laughs> like, honestly, what the hell? This is not the same size. So I will have to write to them. Doesn't say anything on the package, so they must have just taken the wrong one because the white ones fit perfectly. Oh, that is okay. Let there be a light, please. Oh, is this broken? Damn it. Okay, I have no light here <laughs> in my bathroom, um, but I am gonna bleach my roots now. And this is the bleach that I usually use. It is from Mood, and it is my favorite one. I usually use the one called Silver Blonde. This is the Ultra Blonde, so it bleaches, but it doesn't... It's not as strong as the other bleach, and it doesn't take away uh, as much, like, yellow tones. Because I don't need it, because have you seen my hair? It is yellow tones right now, orange, but you know what I mean. It should be applied on a dry hair. Right now it is oily hair. I guess that will work, you know. That's why we try it right now. Oh, let's just take this off. Oh, it's gonna be so cold. Ooh. I've used this one so many times, so I know exactly what to do. There we go. Alright, so I am done with the bleach and I I just got the feeling that I wanted to bleach my brows as well. So that is what I'm doing now. I think that I will have to bleach them at least two times. I'm not sure. But also I thought that it would be cool after I have um, done the bleaching and I will obviously... Uh, dye my roots as well or else my roots will be light and my rest of my hair will be orange uh, so I will obviously dye that as well but after that I thought that we could use some self tanner because I think that that would look cool with the bleached brows uh, but yeah we'll see each other a little bit later okay prepare yourself for a face mask mm hmm so, uh, this day turned into like a spa day, taking care of myself because I was feeling a face mask. This one is the charcoal one from the body shop and I love that one and now I have two. So I feel like I can really use it a lot now, which is nice. Um, the coconut hair bleaching method worked perfectly. It bleached my hair just as many levels as it usually does. Uh, I don't know if it feels softer, maybe it does actually. And it felt really nice when I washed it out as well, not as dry, even though I obviously only bleached this part. But it feels really, really nice. And when I bleach my hair again, I will 100% put coconut oil in it before. That is such a great way to bleach your hair because it obviously worked just as good. Um, so why not? I feel like it has to be just a tiny bit better. Not sure. But yeah, I'm also bleaching my brows once again. Um, and I'm thinking maybe I will dye them as well. Hmm. Because the dye that I'm going to use is the Lunar Tides hair dye. is citrine in citrine yellow. So this is actually my favorite yellow hair dye because it is so like orangey yellow if that makes any sense um i really really like it and it is vegan and cruelty free 
and I just got a restock of these so I'm gonna use that I hope that it will take on these parts even though it is a lot darker but I will always let the um, brows get bleached and uh, this face mask to dry and then I will apply to the eye and maybe I will do it on the brows as well not sure it is starting to get dark outside and I really want to pick up the packages packages oh I just got a text that I have another package to pick up yes um okay let's see when do they close it is Monday today I knew that <laughs> what did I have to shake it closes at seven so maybe I can at least pick up two of the packages at one place and then the other package tomorrow I think <laughs> Okay, so the dye is in my hair and I have bleach in my brows for the third time. I think that my brows will probably fall off after this, but yeah. The dye is in, it will probably not work on the orange parts, unfortunately, but like the roots look amazing. Okay, so, oh my god, I look so scary. <laughs> mm. I still like it. I like the look. Okay, I just remembered that I actually have to get going super quick and pick up the packages. If I will even make it. I think I have like 15 minutes to get there before they close. Uh, but uh, after that I will of course show you guys a little bit better how it looks. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I just put my hair so you can't see it at all. And my hat on. Like, who is this? I look like a drug addict. That is not a good thing to say. Sorry, I take that back. But I do look very mm, unhealthy, maybe. But also, I kind of like the look. It's just me. I actually think it would suit me if I like shaved my head. I think it would look cool. Okay, what am I doing? I have to go. <laughs> just met one of my neighbors he lives above me because he went one stair up and he was super cute and i was like yes this is me now hello <laughs> not looking my best but you know what i think that he will remember me at least <laughs> okay so i'm actually super excited i didn't know that i that these were the packages that i was about to uh, pick up. I think it's Isadora, but then a package that I have been waiting for so long and it is the Japan crate or Japan crate, I guess, and it is the Attack on Titan theme ah! and uh, Please tell me if you guys are Attack on Titan fan as well because I am I love Attack on Titan so it's like the best thing ever. Let's open up the Isadora one first. I think it's Isadora, at least. Base, nail hardener, and ridge filler. And I got a few other things as well here. A lip liner in peach pop. A really nice peachy shade. And I actually love Isadora's lip liners. It's one of my favorite lip liners for sure blush and glow draping wheel and i think that i already have this one maybe not uh, this um color or shade uh rock base nail hardener this is how it looks and i will probably give this to like my mom or something because obviously i have uh, nails done and they got a little bit like yellow from my dye Oh, okay, I get it now. It's also the Spring Atelier Makeup Collection. Okay, so then I don't have the blush wheel. Cool. Oh, wow. It's one of these precise roll-on eyeliners. <gasps> I have been wanting to try that. Okay, so here we have two 
free the uh, peach pop sculpting lipstick so it's the same shade as the lip liner and then two of their liquid lip creams and I love these ones I have all of these shades already and these ones look really really nice this one I am really excited about coral kiss and pink blossom then we have some nail polishes Ooh, how cute so so very nice this one is cream supreme hello focus there we go cream supreme spring fling also really nice rose atelier and then two eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadow quads i should say so we have the peach uh, avenue and then coffee and cream so nice inliner kajal in nude like a really nice color to have in your waterline i guess black brown kajal I guess it's almost black. Then also a sculpting lip liner in bare pink. Really nice shade. Okay, yeah. For the lip liner, it is the sculpting lipstick, the same shade. And then we have this one, the Isadora Precise Roll On Eyeliner. This I am most excited about. That is so cool. Okay, let's try it quickly on my hand. Maybe I should do a complete video about this. I saw that um, Jeffree yeah, Star did uh, a similar tutorial on a similar product like this. So you should just... Ah! Can you see that it like rolls? Wee. This is not like the best uh, camera for this, but it's like a roll thingy. Fun. Really excited about a lot of these stuff, but now it is time for the attack on Japan Jeffa Creed. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so it is dinner time, and I'm going to make a whoop. Um, already starting to burn. Ah, there we go, maybe. Uh, I'm going to make like a Indian stew, like I usually do. I like to do it because it's just quick and very yummy and I can make like a lot of it. Okay, so in here I just have some chopped up uh, onions and uh, ginger. And I'm going to put in some... Uh, what's that in English? So this dinner would actually just be like a lot of things that I already have um, because I really need to go shopping for groceries but I haven't done that yet so it's, it won't really be Indian honestly I don't think that they have that in, on, in the Indian foods but um, it will be a lentil stew that I can say Okay, so dinner is done. I put some uh, um, oat milk in it as well. And uh, that is pretty much it. I used some, what did I use? Some cinnamon, I used some cumin, uh, some ginger powder, garlic powder, and uh, that's it. So that is what it's in there. And then I have some um, rice, duh. Uh, so let's put some in here. Let's see if I can do this with one. Eh. Only one um, arm, hand. Mm, I love rice. This looks and smells so yummy. And then I will take some um, baby spinach. This is already washed. Whoops. Yum. I love greens in my food. I just think it like looks so much more yummy. And I am one of those people that very much eat with my eyes. So like that. And then I also have a little bit of lemon that I'm going to put in. In? No, I'm going to put it over. 
Okay, so this is today's dinner. It looks yummy, right? And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, watch something. Yum. Okay, so it is actually very late now. It's um, half an hour over 12. How do you say that? 12.30 at night? I don't know. Uh, so it's past midnight, as people say. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Swedish. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I normally... Oh my god, I look like a cone head. Okay, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I normally use for self-tanning. Um, I don't do this often. I did do it a couple of times last year during the summer. That's when I like started to try it out. Um, and I like it sometimes. It's, it's nice. You feel fresh. Um, I'm so sorry, neighbors. So I love Saint Tropez. It is my favorite brand um, for self tanning. I have tried some other uh, products. Um, these ones I bought myself. I bought them from Bangerhead. I have gotten things uh, for press releases from other brands, but they have been so freaking annoying to work with. To apply it, I always use my tanning mitt. Um, and uh, on some parts of my uh, body, I have already used a body butter. I have, for example, used it on and here, on my knees and uh, my feet. I'm gonna apply some body butter now and also my hands. So I will quickly show you guys what I do, just a little bit of it. But yeah, and after that, I always put on this one. This one is a jumpsuit uh, that I love. This is like a real jumpsuit that I used out <laughs> in public, uh, but it, after a couple of times, it's starting to become like gray and it doesn't sit as tight anymore. Um, so I don't use it out anymore. I just use this when I self tan. So I put this on so most of my bed won't get affected by the self tanner. And I also like to use some kind of a shirt on top sometimes. Um, so yeah, it is late, but let's put on some self tanner and look fresh. All right, so I have just applied the self tanner and I put on my self tanning outfit. Looking good. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, now I will just sleep in this and when I wake up tomorrow, I will wash it off and then I will be tanned if I didn't like mess up my back or anything. But yeah, that was it for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Um, if you want more of these vlogs, like random vlogs, uh, when I feel like it, give it a thumbs up so I know and subscribe to this channel. We are nearly at uh, 13,000 subscribers, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope we'll see each other in the next vlog. Bye!